Welcome builders, Andy Izzy over here. Welcome to a tutorial on how to build this small starter survival base. And it all starts with a little 5x5 five five house. It has chests and furnaces and pots and pans, well maybe not pans, but it has a farm and it has a place to eat your foods and a tree which you can, well, shade it under and you've got a jacuzzi which is awesome and then there's space in here for more stuff which you could uh, collect chests and even a back door and plenty of space for animals as well underneath what more could you want you've even got an infinite water source right there and spots for your horses and the back is very plain check out the youtuber who just concentrated on the thumbnail anyway moving on we have a little five by five minecraft house to build first of all so let's get that started by the way here is your ingredients you can see you've got hay and you've got this stuff which is spruce um stairs <laughs> spruce slabs carpets also, you can see, you can see, look at all, you know what these are called. You can see what to build. First of all, we're going to need these things here to build our 5x5. Five five. So oak wood planks, you've got cobblestone, oak is wood, and you've got oak wood slabs as well. So let's get one of these built first of all. So um, first of all, I'm going to build this in kind of a, a strange way. I'm going to go a little gap of three here, like this. It's one, two, three, and that is going to form... See, a normal Minecraft house, the corners would be cobblestone, but I like the corners to be oak wood. So it's a Mojang Village 5x5 house, and we are going to convert it into this survival base. It's super easy, I promise. So I like putting oak wood slabs here, and that is... The reason is you could actually, under there, you could put some glowstone there, and the glowstone light would come up, and it would shine through there, and you would need less lighting inside your house. One, two, three, four on top of that. Three, four. One, two, three, four. This is a five by five by five house. I just realized that actually. It's five by five by five. And then up here we can go Ocus Woodus Plancus. Boom, boom, boom. Hopefully you are pretty good at building little five by five Minecraft houses. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know what this deal is all about. Fill in these bits like that, leaving little gaps for windows. And I'm going to put actually windows um, everywhere instead of doors. Uh, and that way I can just break the windows and the block underneath and put a door in later on. Alrighty, Oak is with us up here as well. Boom, 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 uh, uh. boom, 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 boom. And then same deal up here. I like to use um, oak wood planks, oak wood slabs up here and it lets a little bit more light from the sky. Oh, there's things up there, I didn't even know that. Uh, down into the build. So there we go. There's our little standard Minecraft 5x5 five five house, with the exception of turning the corners into oak as well. Okay, what I'm going to do is put another one over here. And uh, to save time in the video, I've got some special Jedi powers, so I can do boom, that. Okay, so there we've got two houses. You can see they share the middle one here. And I'm also going to go one right here as well. Magic. Magic powers, I tell you. So you need a little L shape of 5x5 five five hoosies like that. I'm also going to place one right there as well, hanging over the edge. Again, they're sharing this one here. It's all shared, as you can see, from all different angles. Hopefully that is pretty clear. And I just want to put one over here as well, I think. Boom. Yeah, I want one right about here. There should be a gap of... Yeah, this should be fine if I use my special Jedi powers. There we go. So that is what to do. I just did it like that to save time on the video. Let's clear a little bit of space out the front here like that. So all we're going to do now is build up the rest of our construction. I think I'm going to start over here on this side here. So first of all, let's support that like that. And let's support this like that. And let's bring this one all the way up until it is level with this one right here. Let's grab some temporary blocks and put them in here. Temporary, temporary, temporary. And then we can put these on here like that. There we go. Pretty easy start so far, hopefully. Hopefully you agree that's an easy start so far. Um, here I'm going to go one, two, three, and then one, two, and probably one like that. I didn't do that on that one, actually. Let me just do that <clears throat> like that. that. Quick, quick alteration. And then one, two, three. One, two, one. So just stepping down like that. As long as that one's the same height as that one, you are good to go. So just stepping down. Same over here. Boom, boom, boom. Um, 
Oh, no, no, no. This needs to go all the way to the top. And then boom, boom. I think that looks kind of kind of cool. Kind of cool. Kind of different from what I've done in the past. Okay, let us spit out those ingredients. Flip it. And get some more. So let's grab a few things. Let's grab some fence posts. Let's get some spruce wood stairs and spruce wood slabs. Let's get um, a door and some grass. Hmm, what else would I need in this part here? Maybe just grab some hay bales. And I think that's probably enough to be going on with, to be honest. So, some spruce wood stairs are going to go here and here. And here and here. Just basically supporting the underneath of this like that. There we go. Pretty smart, pretty smart. And then we're going to get these slabs. Slabs are going to go right here. Hopefully, we're going to need nine slabs. And these are going to support the... The farm. So one, two, three. Let's put in our farm. Now our farm is going to go all the way into here as well. So what I want to do with these slabs is actually just move them right down to here. But while we're doing this, while we're putting our farm in, let's just nick down into the house here and realize we can actually take these blocks out to make the house kind of continuous. And we can take these ones out as well. And that opens up your L-shaped hussy. And we can make a little door in the back like that don't forget to put a little stair here might as well use the spruce ones uh, since we've got them in our inventory and a little door here as well and i like making them flush you can set them back if you like you can set them like that uh if you want it makes it look a bit more uh, a bit more depth to the build but i actually like the mojang style of doing it like that it just kind of reminds me this is um kind of a dedicated to mojang type build okay let's finish off our farm like this and let's go absolutely crazy with Ocus Wood's fences uh, all the way along here. And up here. Like that. And I think I went right to the top like this over here. And then yeah, this gets all sealed in. Nice privacy for everyone at the back. Right, we are going to need to plant our farm but let's use up all the other ingredients that we've got as well i'm going to put horses in here and horses and llamas and things like that they tend to climb a bit as well so i'm going to make it double fences i don't know if this is actually strictly necessary but i'm going to do it anyway and then i'm going to put uh fubble dances here as well fubble dance and a gate <gasps> oh no i didn't put gate down oh, there's always something i forget there we go. There's a hate for your gorses, and they can frolic about in there. Cool. So let's. Uh, oh, hey, hey, hey is for horses. Let's put. I, I like when you do this. I like that. It just adds that little smidgen of detail. Um, okay, let's clear our inventory and let's go. Uh, I said clear the inventory, please. And let's go into here. I've got some nice ingredients for my farm. First of all, I'm going to make a little infinite water supply like that. It's always good if you're going mining and whatnot. Um, okay, grab yourself a good looking hole. Uh, give yourself some water. And then we've got to plant our farm as well. Let's get this done nice and neat. Hopefully you can share this house with your... Or the houses with your mates because... That means friends. Um, because uh, there's plenty of space. Plenty of space. There we go. Potatoes, carrots... Um, let's have a melon here and a pumpkin right there. And let's go wild and crazy with some moonbeal and get these all built up, hopefully. Built up. <laughs> Growing like that. There we go. That's adding a bit more atmosphere to the build already. There we go. So let's clear the inventory again. Let's go and grab some more stuff. Let's grab some oak leaves, some cauldrons, furnaces. Definitely need some of these wooden slabs. Going to need some oak fences. Ladders we need more of as well. Is that enough for just now? Hmm, that should be enough for me to be going on with. Let me see what else we're going to do. Right, so these need to extend down. And if you're not copying this block for block, then that's okay. Don't you worry, because I just want to inspire. This is what this channel is all about, inspiring people to build in Minecraft. So we've got a little gap here of five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And then on the next one, we're going to put that right there. So it's opposite there. And we're going to come up just two blocks with that one, a little gap of three, one, two, three, and up by two. And that is that. 
And what we've got, what we're gonna have here, I think is it is it three? No, these come up by three, Andy, you silly bully. And then just um, gill in these faps here with some upper birch slabs, upper birch slabs like this, dun, 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 like that. Um, we're going to do some more, but I've just realized I have forgotten over here because we need some supports here. This makes this look a little bit more supported. You don't need these, actually. It kind of looks quite good without it as well, but it just, I don't know. It's a nice kind of finishing detail, which I quite like. Um, okay, let's continue our slab work like that. It does uh, occlude half the window, which is kind of interesting as well, but that's not too bad. Not too bad. I can live with it. Can you live with it? If you can live with it, I can live with it. Um, right now we need to just do more of these here and then it's on to grabbing some stairs. So we've got a way up and into this place. In front of the door, we're going to go like that. And some stairs there. Some stairs there. There. And I like to turn this stair here. I think it looks cool when it turns because mostly because when you do that, if that was a full stair like that, it looks like you could just go up and bump into that. But if you turn it, it looks like you're full. Ha! I felt <laughs> forced to go up here like that. Anyway, underneath, a little smidgen of detail like that. And like that. While we've got some pence posts, we can just seal the deal in here and make this for some more uh, animals to be kept under here. These could be chickens, could be pigs, whatever you like. Uh, we need the gate as well. Gate. I'm going to put a gate there. Um, I'm going to put a gate here, I think, so we can divide off our animals. So you've got time to sort out your animals, which ones you're actually going to be uh, taking the wool or feathers from or whatever, meat. Uh, I'm going to go here with fences. Boom, 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 boom. And there and let's clear my inventory again well before i clear my inventory let's just put down a few more things i'm going to put down a cauldron here as well a little bit of detail uh, i'm going to go for three furnaces because everyone comes along and has to craft and uh for smelt stuff and of course craft stuff as well in your bafting crench okay is there anything else in my inventory oh ladders yeah we could put some ladders on i like this little ladder here i think that looks kind of cute as well because you can just jump onto it and climb and then a ladder over here would make sense as well so you can get up onto that roof all right well we've got some oak fences let's just keep on going with this around here gonna make this into a little jacuzzi up here which i think is really cute <laughs> a place to chill out with your friends in a hot tub I'm just trying to think, have I ever been in a hot tub? I just just the ones you get at swimming pools. That's the only kind I've been at. I want to go in one of those outdoor hot tubs. They look fantastic fun. What happened to my bucket of butter? Uh, here we go. Uh, let's pour this in here. Splish splash, I was having a bath. There we go. Cool. Um, while we're at Oak Fences, let's continue. We're going to put a little um, sunshade up here as well. And instead of using string, which I used to use for this, I'm actually going to use Trapidorus Maximus. And I'm going to grab some carpet, light blue and white. And there's no build in Minecraft that's a good build if you don't use Trapidorus Maximus, right? Any Trapidorus Maximus fans? I should make <laughs> a Trapidorus Maximus t-shirt, right? Trapidorus Mer... Oh, we need, we need some more, we need some more, we need some more. Like that. It goes like that, it goes like that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If you've placed 13, you've done it right. Would anyone like a Trapidorus Maximus t-shirt? <laughs> oh, you're going to look weird <laughs> wearing that. But I would wear it. No, it's just me, though. Little sunshade. Kind of cute, kind of cute. I like that. I do like it. Uh, we, we're going to need a lot of these fence posts, that's for sure. So we're going to have some here as well. And what I like about putting one just there, we can have it actually all the way up to the top, is there's still room to walk past your pumpkin. You can walk past your pumpkin. Um, more Trapidorus Maximus over here. And we're going to place another little kind of a sunshade over this door here. In fact, it isn't actually a door yet, is it? It's supposed to be a door. Let's put in our doors before we forget. There we go. One. Two, adorable, and uh, three, four, 
awesome there we go and then more of these things as well um i'm gonna go one two three four you can use different colors of course if you don't like uh cyan uh red and green work really nicely as well and red and yellow work awesome too there we go we're nearly finished guys we actually are nearly finished what do we else we need we're gonna grab an oak wood slab, I think. I didn't put this down in the list of ingredients that we need, so I apologize for that. Where is oak this wood slabus gone us? Uh, I'm in the wrong thing. <laughs> oak wood slab. Yeah, up here. I think it's cool just to get a little bit more space going up here. So we're just going to wrap this round like this. And put your pence posts up here. And that goes like that. Like that. Uh, and then a little gap here where the ladder is going to come up there like that and I think that's fine I think that's fine as well and then and then, and then, and then we're gonna grab some wooden stair spruce stairs a pressure plate heavy and let's just put there and there and a little table and chairs up here it look, looks really cute I think it really does look cute um, now I also want to plant a tree right here and this is the, the cool part because you never know quite what tree you're going to get. So I'm just going to put down an Ocus Woodus Trius uh, bone meal. Here we go. Let's see what we get this time. Boom, 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 boom. Kind of standard. Kind of what I got the last time, I guess. You could make a big tree as well if you wished. So there we go. Remove your dirt. Take your dirt away. Uh, you could do this as well if you want. It kind of looks quite cool when you do do that. When you do 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 that. Um, is there anything else to finish this off? Let me think. Oh yes, we've got a few things. So, we're going to plant our plants. Like that. That looks cool there. And let's have another one of these done here. Like that. That looks really smart there, I think. That's awesome. Um, let's grab some plants to plant. So we've got poppies and these blue things. And let's go potty. I'm going to grab something else as well. Something yellow maybe. Yeah, a dandelion. Dandelions are edible, apparently. Oh, I mean, they are edible. I teach it on my survival courses. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And if you want to come on a survival course, then check out True Ways Survival. TrueWaysSurvival.com. You never know. You might get me uh, as your instructor. One, two, for stairs like that. I would like to put... Um, like a little upside down stair here as well, because it would look kind of cool. Like that. Um, so those courses run it in the UK. If you're looking for a survival course. There we go. Um, is there anything else that we have missed out? Hmm. This is where. Oh yeah, the chest. The chest. I knew I had to get something off my chest. Here we go. There and there uh, is that. We can also grab a little bit of uh, detail with some ivy. I didn't even plant. I didn't plant many plants. Did I? Did I plant plants? I think I planted plants. Let me plant some plants back here. This is a nice little spot for maybe some uh, other furniture that you'd want in that little dot there. I like that little spot, that little shaded corner. Um, yeah, some ivy for the wall, or vines, I call it ivy, but vines for the wall. Looks kind of cool. And I've just realized something else as well, which we can put in. We can put in, if we grab one of these, let me just clear my inventory. So cobblestone stairs, grass block, uh, Trapidorus maximus, and a uh, big plant. And I think some little window boxes would look good. And you can do them all the way around. I'm just going to do a couple on the video. But um, you could pop them all the way around where you have windows. I'm just going to do one there and one there. Hopefully this has inspired you. Hopefully if you're wondering how to make a little starter survival base, um, this has given you some inspiration. I like doing these little builds. I love taking a little 5x5 five five Minecraft house and creating something with it. It's a good starter, isn't it? It starts you off building rather than being um, kind of stuck as to what to build. You could do that. I've just noticed that is maybe a little bit better way of putting the stairs. Actually, it looks a lot better when you do that. Hmm. Looks a lot better. Let me grab some long grass or long, some, some ferns here. And I think... We are definitely, definitely done. But just adding a couple of ferns like that, as if they've grown up, kind of like that, looks kind of cool. Maybe one round here as well. And you can put them around the back as well. Obviously, I'm just going to do the front just now. Um, but yeah, there we go. A little starter survival house. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because I'll be having many, many more videos. Just about a video, just about every day. Six or seven videos a week. I hope you've enjoyed that. And if you like live streams as well, follow me on twitch.tv forward slash Andy is Yoda. See you later. Ciao, ciao with the blocks. Be with you.